friends and they're like that's definitely way too ambitious i was like oh i'll do like this really weirdly shaped like pot thing that i can hold flowers in but yeah <laughs> they're like maybe start with a bowl my husband eats yogurt a lot so probably yogurt bowl um okay so we're gonna get a little bit in your space today yeah 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 um so we'll try to get like as close to the center but doesn't have to be perfect do you feel on the outside how you're still like wiggling a little bit as that tree is moving? Um, I like bunch my whole body and like with big amounts of play, like literally lose my breath. It's like, it's like a full body workout. <laughs> so hard to do. Like, and this is like truly where you're going to spend the most time. It's the hardest step, even though it's the first one. <laughs> Oh, nope, that's okay. <laughs> okay, so. I was having like a very meditative moment. It was looking good. <laughs> gathering. This is like the most common first piece experience. <laughs> and hit it down again in the center. <laughs> there we go. And you could do it even with a little more force. There you go. Perfect, nice and even. You can kind of move excellent, and I'll just move this even closer to you. Oh, uh, beautiful. Yay, that's it. <laughs> oh, <Good job. laughs> thank you. Come smoothly. Because now I'm imagining whenever it's finished, I get to give it to you, my husband, and then whenever I see him eating yogurt at it with his little granola, I'll be like, yeah, the satisfaction of just making something and then sharing it with people, I think is cool. Are we supposed to say, hi, I'm Mikhail, I'm the owner? Yes. <laughs> Let's both introduce ourselves in the mind. You say, you say we're the owners. Okay. I can't handle it. Um, okay, I'm Michaela. And I'm Ryan. We're the owners of Make Friends. We met in a ceramics class. <laughs> she sat next to me in the class, and the first thing she said to me was, hi, you don't know me, but I've been to your parents' house before. <laughs> I was like, that's a wild way to start a relationship. It was a studio class, so we sat next to each other for like, six hours a week. But it worked out. My favorite part was probably just getting to play with clay. I mean, I was in there every day, just messing around. Just kind of like this. And then, yep. And you're just gonna take like a little away at a time. And then make sure those hands are touching so you can kind of stabilize it because the clay will wanna pull you. <laughs> Oh, this is interesting. I literally made the opposite of what I am looking at. <laughs> I'm making a moat around what will be the castle. What? <laughs> I don't even know where to go from here. It's still really heavy, but I, I mean, I don't mind a heavy bowl. Cool. First bowl. Yeah, I'm just grateful that spaces like this exist. I don't think any of these people's paths would have really crossed unless a, like a common interest in space was here. I want to make a little ceramic jewelry box for some pieces that are really special to me. One is going to be a ring that my grandmother gave to me when I was in high school, it's that one, and then my mom's original wedding ring. She gifted that to me at my wedding. It was fun to just like imagine something in my head and kind of see it come to life. I mean, no, it, it did come to life, yeah. <laughs> I'm very excited to see how it looks after the underglaze and stuff like that, because yeah, right now it's just like a little brown blob. It was interesting, I mean, we came up with the idea pre-COVID, but then we lived through, we all lived through COVID, and it just, like, the need for community, the, like, 
hope to connect with people again became really big and just accentuated what we wanted the space to be, which was cool in its own way, obviously. COVID was not cool. It's mainly a community space. We've kind of talked about it like that the whole time. First and forefront, it's to connect with people. And the, the way to do that is ceramics. Like the common language is ceramics, but truly the common language could be any craft. My favorite part of Make Friends is the people and the way that it connects really different groups of people. Yeah, so many good people that have become members. Huge age differences, huge lifestyle differences, and everything else in between. So it's fun to host a space like that. It's been a very full week, so I currently feel like I'm in a daze. And I didn't even know, I felt so bad. It feels like really awful to admit this, but like the night before my husband's birthday, he's like, you have my birthday tomorrow. And we had an early celebration, so it's not like I completely forgot, but I was like, I didn't even know what day it was. So like, that's the kind of week and day I've had. <laughs> oh, this is just, yeah. what is this? Get it all in the same height again, and then you see how my rim's off? Well, I'll fix that, it was just by cutting the top off, and then I have a flat top again. There it is. Okay. Just want to do that. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to end up just being a cup I put flowers in. Just the tops of flowers. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Keep it spinning. How is your thumb not getting leg right now? Uh-oh. It's all right. It was great. You pulled up the wall in one try. <laughs> Throw it away. Start again. Okay, I'll just brush it. All right. Have you ever made a pen squeezer thing? That just made me think of that. Just oh, like guess. a juicer? There you go. That's all you need. Okay. These are for the really large lemons, you know? Yeah, right, right. Grapefruits. This is for limes, once it fires. I do want to continue with ceramics. I am like just barely scratching the surface. I think being in a space where everyone else is like operating in their own way um, is just really like fun and encouraging to be around. It does feel like when you walk in, there's always familiar faces, which is is cool. And even as the space has grown and there's a good amount of members now, it still feels like, oh, I know you and I know you and I just met you last week. I'm biased, but I'm gonna say this. To do ceramics, you kind of have to be a good person. It's this thing that requires like a lot of patience and a lot of humility because you're wrong a lot and you don't have a ton of control over the thing. And so the people who stick it out and like choose ceramics as like the hobby they do, I just think are good people. I feel like we have accomplished my goal of not like all the goals. There's always like a goal tugging on another goal. Um, That's a good way to put it. The goal of creating a welcoming space feels I, I think that's why this space feels a little bit magical to me. Like, oh my, oh my gosh, it happened. I, I don't know, it was, um, it's amazing. It's very heavy, but yeah. It looks so cool. It looks so good. Okay. <laughs> Kelly, Kelly, I'm Marie. Marie? Yeah. Nice to meet you. 
I've just had so much fun. Like, this was a really cool experience. Ceramics is like, you have to focus on what it is you're working on in that moment. So it's like, I find that in this space, I'm not thinking about my calendar and goals that I have set. I'm just like, okay, what are we doing right here, right now? And when we came back for underglaze, maybe, um, I could not find the bowl. <laughs> so I was just like, Ugh. But then I came in the week after and I looked for probably 10, 15 minutes and we found the yogurt bowl. <laughs> I experimented with some underglaze. I saw someone's socks with that print earlier in the day and I'm like, ooh, that's fun. And then the little ring box. I have been wanting for months to have a special place for some of the rings that are most precious to me. I put on my little wish list for this holiday season some like air dry clay. So I'm really excited. I want to make fridge magnets.